Hello YouTube, welcome to a look at PFSense 2.3. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm sitting at the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and log in. As you can see right here, I am running the 2.3 release candidate. It is uh, April 11th. So, and pretty much if you do go to the PFSense bug, tr bug tracker, there is no current bugs, so pretty much the 2.3 should be out any day now. You can see there, there is no open cases. All of their issues are closed. So I'm going to show you, you know, my, well, setup, as you can see right here. Uh, one thing you may notice is I have it set split into four columns. Because in the new version 2.3, you're able to actually, like, take interfaces and just kind of move them around super easily. And if you're wondering how I got four, you go into your general setup and down here at the bottom, you can choose how many dashboard columns you want. Also another cool thing is this top navigation bar. As you can see this thing up here, it is staying with me as I scroll up and down because I chose it to be fit. If I choose scroll with page, it would you know stay at the top and as I scroll down, it would go away. Here, I'll go ahead and click save so you can see that. There, as you can see here, now when I scroll down, it goes away. So let me go ahead and make sure that is, I still have that back on. I don't know why it's being really slow to save today. It's usually a lot faster than this. So I don't know, but here, as you can see, I'm gone back here. If you're wondering why our iperf is not running is because I don't have it enabled here, but I will be using it later to test the server and stuff out. You can see over here, I have a bunch of DNS numbers entered in because I ran the uh, DNS benchmark thing and found out like, here's the two DNSs that my ISP gave me. And then here were the four fastest ones that said it worked good for me. I believe, I know this one's like uh, the uh, open DNS. Another one is like, I think something from like Sprint or something. I don't know. You can see right here, it shows my CPU usage, my RAM usage. I went through and did some of the tweaks that Mark Ferdinax says in his videos if you're wondering why does it say i have three viruses in squid it's because i was testing out the uh pf the squid thing because if you're wondering here you can see that it does show for where does it show um Aha, there it is, right in front of my face. You can see here two of these don't report as anything because I was actually changing where you type it up here. Because you can see right here, I have it set up because I have it you know, set up with PFSense that I literally just type in PFSense into my browser. I don't need to type an IP address into my browser for that. I can do the same thing here if I just go ahead and type in NA, I said NAS. Then cap locks button and do slash enter. Boom, there's the web UI for my D-Link NAS. So that makes it a lot easier. And in case you've never seen the uh, squid virus tester thing, let me just do the uh, virus test file. Go in here, go to the Eclair website. Go ahead and click on download and click on one of these. Bang, That would, that's what it looks like if you would you know, try to download a, uh, if a virus would try to get loaded onto my computer. You can see there it would block it. So that's really cool for Squid Guard. Let's go back here to the PFSense login page. Um, let's see, I also have PF blockers set up with a bunch of different things. Like I have it blocked. You can see here I have it set up to block things from like Asia and top four and Europe and South America and Oceanic. You can see there it has been blocked there. You can see this is how many it's able to block. Here's how many it has blocked. So you can see I've it's blocked a lot of stuff from Asia. Uh, you can see here I have it set up to block advertisements. You can see I blocked quite a bit of ads. Uh, Easy list has blocked some ads as well. 
Malicious has bought a couple. The full list hasn't really done much, and HP Partial hasn't really done much. You can see here, my router has been up for about three days, and you can see here we have done about 98.5 gigabytes of traffic. You can see here I've done about 37 upload and 103 download. My roommate has done about 32 upload and 52 download. And my wireless has done about 276 megabyte upload and 1.9 gigabyte download. You can see here I got my three graphs for the downstairs LAN, upstairs LAN, and wireless LAN. So just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cell phone right now that is connected to my wireless LAN. And I'm going to go ahead and open up speed test and wait for it to find the best server and begin the test. You will see there the wireless LAN should start peaking up as the test begins shortly. It's testing the ping right now. There you go, ping done. Now download has started. It is not going very fast. For some reason it says I'm only getting 2.7 megabits per second, which is I guess exactly what it's showing there on the screen. I'm wondering if my ISP is yeah, it looks like my yeah, ISP is being really dumb because this is extremely slow for my internet. I should have did this test earlier today, but there was a bunch of construction going on in front of my house. I'm going to go ahead and change the server real quick that I'm testing this with my phone. And I'm going to go to a Chicago uh, server. Let's try this one and test again see if I get any faster maybe that server I was pinging against is having issues there we go I'm getting a little bit, oh, there we go I'm getting faster this time yep about 75 77 93 94 sort of my phone upload it's showing about 18.5 on my phone it's showing about 16.23 on the browser there you can see there with the wireless LAN how it peaked up there if I go ahead and do the same thing here I'm going to go ahead and log in to a virtual machine or not virtual machine I'm going to go ahead and log in using a VPN into my roommate's PC which you will not see because it is on my other monitor and I'm going to go load up speedtest.net on his PC it is loading hopefully yeah it's this VPN is not very fast on this computer here we go I'm beginning the test on his upstairs LAN which you will see the uh, test begin shortly on the upstairs LAN's uh, network hopefully there it goes, the ping is going. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna get the crappy results because the server was having issues when I tested it on my phone. So it's probably gonna be super slow when I test it on the computer. Yep, it's showing super slow, like the one megabit. Let me go ahead and actually and refresh it again and try to pull a different server. Cause yeah, that server that I normally do my speed tests off of is being extremely slow. Okay, there we go. Let's do the same one. The same test against the same server that I did with my phone on his PC. Bang, it's going 106, 108, 101, 101, 100, 197. Yep, and you can see it did peak up to 100 megabits there on the graph for the upstairs LAN. Upload is saying around 14.4 on the page, and I'm seeing about 15.4 on the uh, diagnostic page there, so that's pretty sweet. Now, I'll do one more thing. Let me go ahead, actually, and go into, I want to go to Diagnostics iPerf, open that in a new window. I'm going to go ahead and snap this over here, snap this over here and scroll down so you can see the graphs nice and big and I'm gonna go ahead and start this as a server and show stuff in bytes 
and then on my roommate's PC, I'm going to do I P E R F. Actually, I don't know if this is going to work. Dash C P F sense. I don't know why this scrolled up. Actually, it might not work because I forgot the uh, the version of iperf that pfSense runs is different than the version of iperf that my PC is running. So that might not work. So actually, let me cancel that and tell my roommate's PC to act as a server. Now let me go ahead and open up a command prompt on my PC, which you'll see right here. Now I'll do iperf dash c josh dash pc enter and there you can see there there's the traffic i'm getting you can see we're getting around 900 megabits per second let me go ahead and do my pc as the server and tell my roommate's pc to connect to troy borg dash pc and you'll see uh, here if it comes back through. What I'm not recording, I was actually getting pretty close to the 900 and... Uh, actually, let me stop the recording real quick and then I will come back and show you the speeds that I get when not recording. Okay, I am back. As you can see, when not recording, I am able to... Uh, let's see, my, we can get transfers around uh, 949 megabits per second on our one gigabit uh, transfer between our two PCs. And remember, it goes from my PC into my gigabit switch into one of the, into the dual port nick on my pfsense box and then out of that same dual port nick i have another cable that goes upstairs into the uh, s another gigabit switch that then goes into his pc so it's little as you because you can see here the traffic does go through the pfsense box so pretty much you know getting pretty much gigabit transfers, you know, having it pass through the switch. Because I originally used to have these two PCs connected both to my gigabit switch, and we got actually pretty close to the same speeds. Maybe like 960, 970 megabits per second. But still, I'd say that's pretty good, even though it's having to run through the uh, PFSense box for speeds and stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess I should show you when running the test of what CPU usage I get. Let me go ahead and try to run a test again. You can see here, of course, yeah, it's recording again, and so it's using extra CPU usage for the encoding, but you can see there the PFSense box goes at around, you know, 50% CPU. So the PFSense box is holding up. It's able to handle the gigabit transfers going through the box and stuff. Oh yeah, I guess I can show you here under Diagnostics and do, 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 sorry, Status Monitoring. You can see here I've had the day off today, and you can see here's my my bandwidth for the last eight hours for the WAN. If I go ahead and switch this over to Quality for the last eight hours, you'll see here here's my quality. I did have a pretty bad spike right here when the whole PFSense box like froze on me when I was testing out that iperf thing. So ignore that huge grab. Let me just turn that off just so you don't see that. But you can see here my packet loss has been pretty much non-existent. Let's jump back to the last day. You can see here packet loss pretty much non-existent. Go back to two days. See I did have a little bit there. You know, I can go back to a week. You can see here, I, I did reset my graph a little while ago. Uh, but you can see here, here's like the quality. Let's say traffic for the WAN. You can see there. This must have been when I was downloading something really big. Uh, but, you know, you can kind of see here, yeah, here's uh, NTP traffic. Here's... Uh, 
I guess here's the main interesting you can do yeah traffic for the downstairs land and traffic for the upstairs land for two days five minute quality update graph oh yeah of course yeah it's going to show our gigabit traffic today probably right there but you can see there we were both you know both me and it looks like I think this must have been when we were I think this was maybe when my roommate was playing videos off of wait no this was oh that was early today yeah this was when I was transferring data from my roommate's NAS onto my PC which is why there was both upload and download traffic for both of our networks you can see here here's where I was downloading a big I believe a file I believe that was me right let me just turn off down let me just make sure downstairs land yeah I can see there where I downloaded something so we just opened upstairs land you can see there where he was uploading something oh yeah it looks like it must have been the same thing here so I think this is maybe when he was watching something off of mine ass because you can see there like a lighter purple versus a darker purple and this one here is probably oops I chose the same thing or maybe oh yeah I guess maybe it would be the same colors yeah light purple dark purple I switch it around. It should probably be dark purple, or light purple. Yeah. So yeah, here's where my roommate was doing stuff. Or maybe this is when I was transferring files to my roommate's NAS, and here's where I was transferring files from his NAS. Or maybe he was playing for mine. I don't know which, but whatever. Thanks for watching. This is dragged on quite a long time.